And if you've been keeping your eye on the news, very soon American Airlines, it looks like American Airlines and U.S. Air are going to merge into a new American Airlines. Uh, American Eagle is getting out of the way. We wouldn't want anybody to get blown over before they uh, go into the hangar. We're ready to go into the hangar. If I could ask you, please make sure you all stay together with the group. There's uh, men and equipment uh, working in here, and, and uh, for your own safety, please uh, just stick with uh, the group. All right, we're ready to go. As I said, typically an airline will try and get two turns out of an airplane each day, and the reason for that is um, an airplane doesn't make money if it's sitting on the ground. It costs a lot of money, and you heard what the value of some of these aircraft, as I mentioned. And um, I think the initial build, well, the current footprint of uh, Terminal 2 is in the neighborhood and ultimately the building is have three more piers, we call them. Uh, these protrusions that stick out from the main building are called piers, and we have, uh, we have uh, two piers on uh, Terminal 3 and currently three piers on Terminal 1, with three more to be added for a total of six. And if that, when that happens, the building will be about 4 million square feet in size. So you can just give you an idea of the magnitude. Now behind all these uh, roll-down doors on the apron level here is the baggage system. I just forget how many kilometers of baggage system there are uh, in, in Terminal 1 alone. But uh, it's, uh, it's in, it might be in three digits, I just can't remember. It's at least the double digits of kilometers of, of baggage belt. The road that we're, de we're driving on, what is called a vehicle corridor, we're, on, we're uh, driving underneath the loading bridges, so the passengers will come out of the terminal, cross over this road onto the loading bridges, and then on, um, onto the aircraft. Terminal 1 has uh, what is called a hold bag screening system. So once you check your bag in at the counter, it goes down into the floor levels below the, uh, the main check-in level. And the bag, all bags go through a series of x-ray machines. And this is all done automatically. And if an x-ray machine or its operator senses there's something strange looking in the bag that requires further examination. It is shunted to the side to another level of x-ray. And if it doesn't clear that level of x-ray, it is shunted aside again to a third level of examination. And ultimately the bag will end up in a special uh, room here on the apron level. It'll be opened and examined manually just to make sure that uh, the contents of the, uh, of the bag are not uh, suspicious. So that is what is called a whole bag into the, uh, they're called containers or cans. And then those come out and they are loaded uh, on the aircraft. There's actually technology that's being experimented with, uh, I think, Amsterdam, uh, Amsterdam, Schiphol, and uh, the Netherlands. 
is actually uh, experimenting with robotic bag loading technology.